<laughs> Hi guys, it's me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas. I'm fixing to get run over by this airplane. That's an A7D. It's, I mean, I'm in. <laughs> there's probably going to be a lot of noise because I'm near a main highway. But again, this is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. Uh, Wednesday morning, April the 13th, 2016. It's about 59 degrees. And it's a little damp. But anyway, that's a A. Here, I'll get up close. A7D, I'm at the Burnett County Airport in Burnett, Texas. It's spelled B-U-R-N-E-T, but it's pronounced Burnett. In fact, at the Chamber of Commerce, they'll say it's Burnett, darn it, can't you learn it? But anyway, you don't realize how big these things are until you get right up next to them. <laughs> I mean, yo. <laughs> but anyway, they got about four or five here. We'll look at all of them because I'm... I just couldn't, I just couldn't, I just couldn't put y'all through that corny ass news again. But anyway, these are all, these are fuel tanks. I, no, I guess these are bombs or some shit. But anyway, you can see how they're fastened on them. But you know, that's, some, that, that's huge, you know what I mean? It goes out there and then it goes all the way down there. I mean, these things are huge, babe. But anyway... This is an A7D. See what I mean about big? Big, 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 big. But anyway, Burnett County Airport, Burnett, Texas. This is a, I don't know what this one is. U.S. Air Force something. We're going to find out because I ain't got nothing else to do. Uh, let me get over here and I'll show you where it is. Ooh, look at that one. Uh, this is a... T-37B, whatever that is, and it's flying right over me, see it? I I'm right under it. You know, you just don't realize how big aircraft are until you get right up, right up next to them. But anyway, that is a T-37, that's a trainer, T, T means trainer. And this is a, I don't know what this is. You guys may know. We'll find out. I'll go over here and read it. But it looks like a bad boy. I guarantee you that. Anyway, that's all the stuff. And uh, I made a model of this one when I was a kid. There's the, there's the intake. And that's something there. And uh, but we'll see what it is. This is a F. F means fighter. F 100F. Okay. How about that? See what you guys get to see. I mean, notice it's got a flat tire. Can't, maybe you can see that. But I don't think I don't, I don't think they could get this thing to fly anytime soon. There's some more stuff we're gonna go look at. There's some old World War II stuff. Again, this is the, uh, they have a Confederate Air Force Museum here. And I may go in there if they'll let me. Sometimes they, sometimes they'll let you come in on a tour and sometimes they won't. But anyway, it's kind of muddy. We had a little rain last night. There's no army tank from World War II. And there's an old, I guess, howitzer of some kind. But you know, you just... You know, war must be total hell. You know, these things are designed for one thing. One thing only, and that's to kill people. That's it. That is it. I mean, I wish you could look at how this thing is, how thick this armor is on this thing. I mean, this thing is huge. No tracks. Yeah, this old thing has been through it here. This old baby has been through it. World War II collectible item. And they got a rocket there of some kind. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a surface to air missile over here. Let me get too close to it. There it is right there. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you this this morning rather than do that corny ass news stuff I've been doing. And let me pause this. I'm going to see if I can 
go in the Confederate Museum. Uh, it's called, well, it used to be called the Confederate Air Force, and now it's called the, I don't know, Memorial Air Force because they couldn't use the word Confederate. I get so sick of that shit. Anyway, hang on. I'm going to pause it. The lighting in here is not too good, but there it is right there. It's the, it's called the Commemorative Air Force, and it says it's closed, so they're probably going to run me out. But I'll let you see some of these old World War II birds before they do. That's a good one there. I don't know what that one's called. But yeah, they actually maintain these. And then once a year they have an air show here. It's called the Blue Bonnet Festival and they fly these things all around. I'm just waiting to get run out. You know. Uh, there's another one right here. It's got all kinds of stuff in there. <coughs> yeah, this is Rusty, Rusty 78609 in Central Texas, USA. And see, it says right here, Commemorative Air Force. Y'all are getting to see something not many people see. There's a little bitty one over here. what this one's called. I think I made a model of this one at one time. The hardest thing is getting parts for these old aircraft. You know, there's some spare parts over there. And uh, this is, I don't know what this one is here. But this is apparently an old Navy something. And uh, anyway, I'm going to head out of here before I get run out. And uh, That's a trainer. This is a trainer of some kind. But these things crash all the time. They really do. This is a good shot of this guy. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Let me pause this thing again. Do it in landscape. Do it the other way. Do it flat. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. okay. Can you, can you do that? Yeah, yeah. I'm going. <laughs> Go for it. The only problem is I may not be able to get out. Well, <laughs> we put put both put both feet up on the seat. Yeah, what are one leg all the way in and the? I, I tell you, I think I'll pass. Well, I'll do it. You take a video oh, of me. Yeah. You gonna start? Yeah, go ahead. Bob Mickey with Commemorative Air Force. He's getting into this. Well, that's a rotating gun, right? Yeah, it's a nose gun. Nose gun. Okay. <laughs> come around and come all right. Around front. I will. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> what are those, 30 caliber or 50? They're 50 caliber machine guns. One of them is real, the other one's a fake. The one's real? Yeah. Well, let me, which one's real? <laughs> let me, let me get it. Yeah, let me move over here then. <laughs> nothing nothing personal, you understand? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the round, yeah. These are the rounds. Yeah, let's see if I can see those. Those... Yeah, the 50 calibers are huge, huge. These Put your hand up by there so they can see how big it is. Yeah, those are huge. There's ones for this one, and then there's, there's be another one there. Yeah. So there would be, probably be nine yards of these, so that's where this... Of the whole nine is. yards? Yes. <laughs> that's amazing. I, I think that's true of this one. I'm, <laughs> well, I'm not an expert, I just work on... <coughs> oh, do you? So, yeah, so you, you can uh, turn... You know, oh. the controls to turn it up and down. I'm not, I'm not qualified, so. Oh, okay. You're not, you're not certified on this. I'm not, I might be certified <laughs> on this. I hear you. I might be certified, too. Okay. No, that's really neat. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the kids can get in and out of here if you want, the adults. And no, that's great. The gunners were a little smaller than me. Well, this, the, it was the nose gun off of this aircraft here. Of that kind of aircraft, now, yes. Of, of this, it, this is the nose gun of this kind of aircraft, and that is what? Yeah. It's a B twenty four Liberator. B twenty four Liberator, and what? That's for all World War Two, right? World War II, yes. Right. Okay. So this was one off of there. And that's an F four U, right? See there, I know something. You know something. You know how come I know that? Because I used to build model airplanes when I was a kid. Oh, okay. Well, that <laughs> one's a big model. And I built all these and old World War Two aircraft. Yes, and so our, our B twenty, our, our 
C-47, which is painted like this, and this is a picture of her, is off in Oshkosh right oh, now. Oh, let me do that right now. I'll just take a shot at this. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that's when I got drafted in 1967. That's what I flew to Fort Polk, Louisiana, the old tail draggers. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all those old helmets. So there's, lot, there's lots of stuff. There's lots of stuff here. There's a practice mortar back here. There's a... The, the mortar back here was used for practice. It's not actually a real one, but it's saved. Um, uh, what kind of mortar? What round? What? Uh, I don't know. I'm not the expert. 300 millimeter, whatever they call it? Yeah. Yeah. So these are pieces of Norton bomb sites, and this is the wing tip off of RC-47. Um, oh, okay. One of the pilots made a mistake. Got a little too close to the fence <laughs> line, so we had to replace it. Oh, I hear you. Give you an idea of how big. And so this, is a, this picture is of our... C-47 flying. Do you, and that's still here somewhere? It, uh, it, it is assigned to our squadron of the CAF. Okay. And it is, right now, it is in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. All right. We're swapping an engine. The right engine had troubles, and we're trading it with Basler for another engine. I don't know how you keep them flying, actually, because... Well, we can, we can get parts. It's expensive, but we can get parts. Well, but, you know, you got to have funding to get... That, we yeah. we have yeah. uh, most of our funding comes from Airshow. Oh yeah, and uh, Airshow, which was normally the fourth Saturday in April, but our the construction is going on the runway. Oh okay, and the taxiways, and it's not. We don't think it's going to be true. <laughs> these, this these, is a wacko. Yeah, they all, they glider. They towed them behind. Yeah, so the C forty seven, our kind of plane, towed them, and ours was set up to tow them at one point. In, <laughs> that was like a suicide aircraft, wasn't it? Uh, yes. I've, I've gotten to talk to a D-Day pi actual pilot. Oh, did you? And he said he was he thought that was too dangerous to do, so he didn't do any glider <laughs> tows. He he started yeah. early in the morning, uh, in the middle. Of, he started in the at night, the yeah. night before D-Day, and was dropping paratroopers in, and then started <laughs> jump, dumping supplies out. Yeah. And then, and then when they could land, got the field cleared so they could land on the field, he started bringing in equipment. Gosh. And then he said they were finally putting litters in and taking wounded out. And he said he flew for 36 hours straight oh, before man. they got a break. Isn't that amazing? You know, those so, old guys back they were, then. They were younger back then. Well, they were younger, but they younger were. Younger than us. It was a whole different mentality, too. Right, yeah. You know? Now, this is old German. Some, what else? Yeah. This is old German stuff you've collected. Right, yeah. So we have some German stuff, some Japanese. We have um, some more um, modern things, and we're working on airplanes out. Well, out. what now? You just you you work on the aircraft here? Yes, I, okay. I volunteer. I help work. On oh, you aircraft. volunteer? Yeah, we're all volunteers. How about that? We're all volunteers, and I'm here to. Um, work on for the PT-19. What what kind of round is that? That this is what this is a round that an A A-10 fires. Fires. That's what they fire. They have a Gatling gun, and basically the ship is built. The ship is built Ooh, around the, the gun. Yeah. Lord have mercy. So mercy. that's that's how big that. Yeah, the, that's the old A-10 Warthog, right? Yes, they're still flying those. Yep. They're uh, basically. Really good at killing tanks. God Almighty! How would you like to get hit by that round? Wouldn't that be horrible? Wouldn't well, it? they go right through you. I don't think it would oh, slow they? down. <laughs> I don't think it <laughs> they would just leave down. a big hole. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, probably. But yeah. Um, we, in our past air shows, we've had the the West Coast demo team for the A10, and really? uh, this is one of their favorite. Our our air show is one of their favorite shows because they're the big act here. Oh well, I bet they are. Yeah. Yeah, and so we have. Toys. The other, the other, the other thing we do is we make dog, we make oh, dog tags. Yeah, dog tags. Yeah, I've, and we have. I had some of those at one time. And we have a, a World War II style dog tag machine, so we can actually make World War II style dog tags. Huh. I bet you sell you. a lot of those in the air show, don't you? This is one. Of, yeah, this is one of your money makers, this is, right? This is. Um, that's this a, machine works, and if you want to order dog tags on our on our webpage, we'll make them for you and mail them to you. Really? What is your webpage? You might as well give yourself a plug. Uh, the the uh, Highland Lake Squadron. 
If you just Google the Highland Lake Squadron or HLS and then CAF, Commemorative Air Force. Okay, Highland Lake Squadron, Squadron. CAF. Uh, you can uh, do a Google search and find them. Yeah, yeah. And you can yeah. order stuff from their website. Get ready for a little bit of noise. <laughs> this is how it works. Or, and um, you put blanks in it. Yeah. Flip it down. And then just type push it. Push it over and you start typing. <laughs> and that's, that's how it works. And you can have well, I can't believe it's still. You, oh yeah, yeah, it works. If you, I know. If I you see. Wanted your, if you wanted me to make some right now, I could make them for you. <laughs> I know, um, man. It's uh, five lines and excuse me, four lines and sixteen characters. So what? You just fill out the form. Okay, it, it, is that on the on your website? Yeah, you can okay. order them on the website. Okay, so you just fill that out, folks, and you can order you some dog tags. Yep. And, and they'll, uh, they'll send them to you. Yeah, and they're uh, World War II style. Was two. Dog tags and a big chain and a little chain, so that's ten bucks. Or if you just want one by itself, and then in, in Vietnam, they, oh, in Vietnam that. they started putting what they call silencers on them. So uh, yeah. it's a dollar extra for the silencer. silencer. Yeah. And we have a bunch of colors. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's good. And so you just volunteer, isn't that interesting? Well, we are. We're all volunteers here. The whole squadron. The whole squadron. Okay. Well, let me pause this thing again. What was your name again? Robert. Mickey. Yeah, my... Robert Mickey, thank you, man. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that was the uh, commemorative Air Force Museum that we just got to see by a pure accident. I just know then, and uh, it worked out. So y'all got to see something not many people get to see, for sure. And uh, anyway, again, this is Rusty, Rusty78609 at the airport in Burnett, Texas, USA. It's Wednesday, uh, April the 13th, 2016. And, uh, you know, y'all enjoy your day. A big thumbs up to you guys. If I can get my thumb up here. Here it is. There's my thumb. And, uh, yeah, the Commemorative Air Force, uh, they have a museum and, and they have regular hours. He was just nice enough to show me around. Uh, this is a trainer. This is a T-38B. See that? Well, anyway, that worked out pretty good. I mean, that was just pure fluke. All From Burnett, Texas, I'll tell you why. They, it's spelled B-U-R-N-E-T, but if you go to the Chamber of Commerce, they'll tell you it's pronounced burn it, darn it. Can't you learn it? But anyway, you enjoy your day. Carpe diem and uh, adios and... Bye-bye.